I'm Norman Varney with AV Room Service and uh, we're going to be talking about acoustics, room acoustics, and in particular this is a little intro on noise control because before you get to sound quality you have to have noise control in place. So what is noise? Um, for the audio playback, it is anything other than what is on the original signal. So it could be noise from uh, outside of the building, like uh, a car horn or an airplane or, or rain on the roof, or it could be noise from inside the building, like uh, footfalls or plumbing, people talking in an adjacent room, or it could be noise inside the room, like an electrical hum or uh, fan noise from the equipment or the HVAC. Ambient noise is uh, the all-encompassing noise of um, the environment. The noise floor is the level which the noise level does not fall below, if you can wrap your head around that. So what is noise control? By definition, noise control is the technology of obtaining an acceptable noise environment in line with the economic and operational functions. <laughs> what is acceptable and to whom and under what conditions and when? These are all great questions. And in regards to our audio playback environment, these are gonna be very personal. Um, a recording studio, for example, would require a much lower noise floor, like an RC20, uh, which is about 10 dB lower than your typical residence or than building codes for uh, a condo or an apartment building. A low noise floor is going to allow us to hear all of the signal, um, the full dynamic range, and low level resolution won't be masked by noise. Um, noise won't be a distraction or an annoyance uh, to us. Um, and remember too that noise is a two-way street. So what can get in the room can also get out of the room. Um, and that can be annoying noise. Your noise could be annoying to others. There are standard tests set forth by government and industrial associations to, to comply with. Um, estimated noise conditions can be usually derived from empir empirical engineering methods. The second step is to determine the no what noise level is acceptable or what the, the noise criterion is to be satisfied. In our case, this is determined by the individual who will be using the space. The third step is to obtain the difference between steps one and step two. Um, this is the difference and represents the noise reduction that must be obtained in order to achieve the desired goal. So there's airborne noise and there is structure-borne noise. Airborne is a noise that originates in the air, uh, like my voice, like the loudspeaker. Structure-borne energy is, uh, is mechanical energy, and it's in the form of steady vibrations or uh, forceful impacts onto the structure, which then radiates noise. There's three areas where you can control noise. The first is at the source. Um, you can reduce the amplitude of the source, or you could uh, contain it. Um, in, you know, in a, a cabinet with absorptive material and or mass, um, you can install, you know, and that could even be the room. You could install resilient walls, um, a suspended ceiling, floating floor. Um, the, the second is along the transmission path of the sound energy. So you could locate the source as far away from the receiver as possible. 
Um, you seal all the openings, all the gaps, all the penetrations where airborne noise can uh, find its way. Um, you can improve the, the partition, the wall, the whatever is dividing it, your, you and the, and the sound source uh, with resilient systems. You can increase mass, you can increase the airspace, and you can fill that cavity with, uh, with insulation like rock wool or, or fiberglass. And then the third way is, um, uh, or the third area is the receiver or the listener. At the receiver, you can add absorptive materials, um, or if it were uh, a sound privacy situation, you can add sound masking, or another possibility is earplugs or headphones. So on the receiver end, you're really limited as far as what you can do to apply noise control. Um, and there's other things that in the, the room that can be noisy. The uh, resonance from the, the construction, the, the shell itself, it can, it can play back uh, in sympathy with the, the music that you're playing. It can buzz and rattle and, and really interfere with um, what you're trying to listen to. And so I just wanted to give a little intro into how you go about noise control and uh, um, point out the, the fact that uh, it really is important to be thinking about before you start addressing some of the sound quality issues because noise can really be a distraction. It can really interfere with the sound quality. And, and like I say, uh, it has to be established before you can achieve sound quality, uh, which are the subjects that we will be talking further about in, in uh, future videos. I hope you learned something and hope to see you in future videos.